the big city is often referred to as a jungle, an asphalt jungle. But there's another jungle that's far more important to you. That is a jungle within yourself, a jungle of influences, persuasions, decisions, and regrets. A jungle of unfulfilled desires, a jungle of fantasies, a jungle. The problem with the jungle is, is that it surrounds you and prevents you from moving, prevents you from having a clear direction. For in the jungle, you have no direction. There is no direction. But that's a real problem, you see, because you're actually born with a greater purpose for being in the world. And a greater purpose requires a greater direction. You're born, therefore, with a destiny, something to move towards, something to fulfill. This is not the product of your wishes or your preferences or the wishes of others for you, the wishes of your family or the values of your culture. This greater direction, this greater purpose, this greater destiny was given to you before you came into this world. It lives within you now, waiting to be discovered. The tragedy is, is that there is no way out of this jungle, except to find this clear direction. And you cannot make it up. This is not an intellectual enterprise. You cannot figure it out or piece it together because discovering it is not a rational process. It is innate within you. You have to want it. You have to call for it. And when it begins to emerge, you have to have enough self-trust to begin to follow it. Everywhere you look, there's the jungle. You can hear the sounds of the city behind me, people rushing every which way. But how few have a clear direction in life? How few have begun to really experience and follow the greater purpose that was given to them before they came? The people are restless. They don't really know what to do. Driven, oppressed, distracted, they're living in the jungle. You know this jungle because you've been living in this jungle yourself. And perhaps in the course of time, your disappointment and through moments of self-honesty, you have begun to realize that your life is not moving where it needs to move. This is something for you to experience. To consider, are you really living the life you know you must live? If you are honest, you will feel the truth of what this means and says to you. And you will also see that you're living in a jungle. Your mind is full of thoughts and persuasions, conditioning, all those things that overlay the true purpose that is waiting within you. Some people come to this place of recognition as a result of profound disappointment or disillusionment with relationships, with work, with any pursuit in life. And they come to ask a bigger question, what am I really here to do? What is it that will really fulfill my life and not merely keep me satiated in the moment 
or distracted in some kind of pleasurable activity which lasts but a few moments. It's recognizing that you are not living the life you were meant to live that can begin the real journey out of the jungle. And the journey out of the jungle is possible because your purpose and your destiny already live within you. Otherwise, you would never be able to find it. You can't find it in the jungle. You cannot find it amongst the endless opinions and theories and theologies of the world. It has to be something that is a deeper resonance within you. The turning point then is when you begin to seek something greater in your life. Something that has not merely been mandated by your family or culture, but something that you know is there, even though you cannot yet define it. This begins the way out, because God has given you the power to find your way out. In God's new revelation for the world, this power is called knowledge. It is here, when you are ready, to begin to take you out of an old life that could never fulfill you into a new life, being in the world, a new life of purpose, a new life of relationship, a new life that can fulfill your destiny. And knowledge, which exists beneath and beyond the surface of your intellect, will work towards this relentlessly to orient you in the right direction. And once you begin to move in the right direction, there's a sense of rightness about your life that begins to emerge. But it doesn't emerge completely. It still stands in contrast with all the effects of the jungle that are still within you. But you begin to feel there's a time when you are really right with yourself and a time when you are not right with yourself. And this gives you the contrast you will need to discern your way out of the jungle of confusion the jungle of living a haphazard life, a life without purpose, meaning, or true direction. Knowledge within you will begin to set the clear path because it was established before you came into the world. And because you have this path, you have a greater purpose to recognize and to fulfill and to learn to follow through time and circumstance. This will give you the power of decision in time. It will give you the power of discernment. It will give you the power of discretion. It will give you strength where there was only weakness before. It will give you clarity where there was only confusion before. This is the clear path. It emerges from the wisdom that is within you already. It is not merely following someone who promises you peace, love, and happiness. It is not merely believing in an idea that you think will fulfill you. But that's all part of the jungle, you see. It can never lead to fulfillment or real purpose or direction. The clear path emanates from within you and aligns you with certain people who can support it and recognize it. It begins to change how you feel about things. It begins to change your priorities and your values in the most natural way. Because this is you beginning your return to what is true within you. And the possibility that you could fulfill your destiny in this world under the very circumstances which exist today. We call this the clear path. And it is clear. It is unsullied by the opinions of others. It is uncontaminated by the expectations or the corruption of others. 
or even by your own corruption and mistakes from the past. For knowledge remains pure within you. It is not contaminated by the world. It is not confused by the world. And for this reason, it holds for you your true path, the way out of the jungle. Now at the beginning, because the jungle overlays everything, the path is very subtle. Yes, you can see a stepping stone here and a stepping stone there, but it's overlaid by the jungle. But it is still discernible enough for you to take the first steps. And as you do this, you'll begin a process of reevaluation of your life, which is necessary and natural for you. And you will see that there is a part of you that is strong and a part of you that is weak. And that that part of you that is weak must learn to follow that part of you which is strong, which represents the clear path. God's new message for the world brings this forth clearly now. For many people need to be called to a higher purpose in a world facing catastrophic and unprecedented change. Many people must hear this calling and find this true path within themselves because the world requires it. And you have come here to do this, to hear this, and to find this. God's new message to the world is a pure communication from your source. It has provided the steps to knowledge and the wisdom you will need to know how to recognize the clear path and to take the steps to follow it where it really wants you to go.